So calibrutinib is an inhibitor of BTK, and it's a second generation covalent inhibitor. So like ibrutinib, it binds irreversibly to BTK. Um, it's actually a much more selective inhibitor than ibrutinib is. Um, so while ibrutinib does also inhibit a lot of structurally similar proteins, a calibrutinib inhibits less of those. And that's important primarily for toxicity. Um, so we think that some of the toxicity we see with ibrutinib is because of those alternative targets. Um, so some of those toxicities may be lessened by treatment with a calibrutinib. Um, in the treatment naive setting, as well as relapsed and refractory disease, the data has looked very promising with this agent. Um, in this particular study, which uh, was 53 months of follow-up um, for 99 patients with treatment naive CLL, um, at that time, about 86% of the patients were still on treatment, which is very impressive. Um, and the event-free survival at 48 months, so four-year event-free survival was 90%. Um, so certainly this is looking very promising with this agent, you know, similar to what we've seen with ibrutinib in this patient population. Obviously, you can't really compare trial to trial, um, but it's very comforting to see that, that it looks fairly similar to where ibrutinib was looking in that, in that situation.